Glad to see you. Thank you. It's good to see you guys. Uh, first thing we talked about was shift commanders, uh, which is detailed on Fire Chief's memo 002 slash safety officers. Uh, Chief Drennan's push is to have shift commanders work as an incident safety officer. Now I'm all. What I'm yeah, saying is under pressure now. now I got a lot. He's buckling as uh, we speak. Uh, <laughs> They're going to work as incident safety officers and also division safety officers to provide continuity of operations from one district to the un to the other. Uh, fire department has requested three additional positions from the budget office. Uh, February 8th, we should know who the shift commanders will be and promotions uh, will take place on March 1st. Would trickle down to the assistant chief rank, captain's rank and lieutenant's rank as well. The mayor's office is requiring that the city have more mandated trainings. TS will be sending each member an email informing them of their training login page with separate username and password. You're going to be all over this guy. <laughs> training will be completed by each member on the department, computers only. Members who fail to log in will be blocked from using all department programs, including Telestaff, which will limit you from overtime. <laughs> A memo will be coming out to explain this process. There was actually an email last week that came out. Yeah, I believe the training is going to be on uh, cyber security. <laughs> cyber security? Cyber security. It is. I saw the email. For the city and also it will help you with your own personal stuff at home. Uh, next thing we talked about was turnout time reports. Uh, goals to hit uh, under one minute of turnout time 90% of the time. Our district average is currently 93.65. Engine 30 now sits at 91.23%. Operations is looking into staffing the med unit downtown again on Friday and Saturday nights for the remainder of the year. <laughs> and then maybe permanently in 2007 as long as they have the budget for it. They're looking for the budget now. Uh, active shooter training will begin starting January 25th and go through May. This will be a five-hour class from 11 to 1600. Training will be held with police and more than likely paramedics. Uh, initially, they talked about having the training for us to be with District 4 police officers so that we're working with the same officers that we would respond to. Uh, but that will be coming up starting January 25th. Uh, civilians looking for a ride-along will soon be subject to a background check by Denver Police. Looks good. Cadets and other city members will not need to have a background check since they already work for the city. Uh, next thing, incomplete infers. District 7 has a total of 206 incomplete infers. All companies are requested to complete their infers uh, for their apparatus. I've got a list of them here. We've got one left. <clears throat> Sweet. In the day. Uh, probationary moves. Next wave of probies for class 1503 out on January 17th. Uh, engine 37 B shift, truck 38 B shift, engine 36 C shift. The second wave out will be on February 14th. One at engine 25 Bravo, one at engine 25 Charlie. Current probie moves. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Jones is relieved. Relieved. You're not getting one down here, so you'll yeah. be here. Uh, current probies move out of their current house on February 21st. Permanent houses for 1501 is February 21st. The Inglewood guys go to their next fifth house on the 21st of February, and then they're off probation on April 3rd. So I would imagine you guys will probably be getting someone as a permanent down here come April 3rd, I'm guessing. Don't know. Uh, DFD safety submission forms. All members who have the safety related issue or concern are welcome to complete the DFD safety submission form, which is located on the DFD web under member tools. These concerns will go directly to the safety committee and to Chief Drennan and Chief Heiss. All officers should read the safety concerns daily to become aware of the possible issues in your response area and pass the pertinent information to crews as needed. Uh, I'm going to add my own little personal twist to this. Uh, I think it's highly important that all members have a chance to put in their own safety issue if they want. The only thing that I would recommend is if you put one in, uh, have it be meaningful and something that we can correct. 
some of the ones we're getting is, well, the roads were slick out. <laughs> okay, well, what do you want me to do with that? Or we responded on a medical to a known gang house. Okay, well, what do you want me to do with that? If you're going to add it and put something in there, I think it would be a good idea to put only not what you think the problem is, but something that would correct it. So on the gang house one, responded to a known gang house, uh, please add MDT notes that this is a possible gang house and be aware of it for maybe police cover before you go in, something like that. Kind of like our cycle guy over here. Yeah, yeah. So we're down there. That's what. That's the kind of safety issues that you want to list on there. Uh, the main thing being is just be cognizant when you put them in. There's some of the ones that they've gotten are just okay. They're driving too fast or on the highway. Well, what do you want us to do with that? We, it's something we can't. It's out of our control to fix. My own personal tangent. Uh, operations training. The 2016 District 7 training schedule is out for company review. Companies will still provide training to the remaining portion of the district on their assigned month. District level training will still be completed at the Excel Power Plant uh, this spring. A live burn event at the Fire Academy conducted by training staff in the summer. All companies are reminded to train daily and companies officers are required to document training each day. I'm really going to try to make it an effort uh, to have each of the officers document stuff every day. I check at night to see who's documented stuff or not. So I'll probably be giving you a call if I haven't seen anything on the board like nine o'clock or so. Uh, so just make sure you get it logged. That's all I'm asking for. Uh, new rigs, engine 37 is supposed to get a new engine this year, uh, probably within the next quarter. Truck 38 is supposed to have a new rig by the end of this year. Uh, Inglewood would be like, wow. Yeah, this is like, really working shiny out. truck. <clears throat> uh, fire prevention. 2016 inspections will be out February 1st. All the 2015 inspections are now complete. If the 2016 business has a minor violation, mark the reinspect box as no. This would be similar to a uh, uh, oral where you're telling them, hey, just get it fixed. Uh, if you mark it as yes, the system will gener regenerate. Uh, a reinspect for the fire company and then also build a company and the business for a reinspection fee. Uh, any inspections of a marijuana facility should be sent back to the Bureau with the notation that the building is a marijuana facility. Companies will complete the inspection on the iPad uh, and make a note that it's uh, a marijuana facility. Hey, you just had the uh, guys he told us. Yeah. Uh, so you'll mark it complete here, you'll send it into the Bureau. One of the things that they're asking to do is if you have a place that you not go and inspect it, uh, the main be reason being is on some of the other marijuana facilities, they've actually have police officers staking the place out, looking to bust somebody, and then the fire crew shows up and goes in and kind of blows their, their scene. So if you want to do a pre-plan on the place, just contact the Bureau, the marijuana group, and they'll set it up. You can take you in for a pre-plan, show you everything you want to see, so you're ready, prepared to, to go on a fire call. Uh, if members would like to, something added to the inspection checklist, let uh, Chief Birdoff from Fire Prevention know. Uh, contact Fire Prevention Engineers on structural damage. Uh, Bureau has requested that all contact with the Fire Prevention Duty Officer be done through with the District Chief. So if you had something out here uh, I would have you write them in order to comply. You'd call me on the radio or whatever. If I wasn't responding or coming down here, you're picking me up. And then you would let me know what's going on, and I'd call the duty officer to let them know that they need to be aware of it. Other than that, that's all I got.